In South Africa, the classification was very much also based on the colour of your skin or the texture of your hair or your background, the way you've lived. There was this ridiculous thing, you know, the pencil test. So, in, of course, if you take a pencil, pencil, take it, and then you would obviously take it and put it through your hair and see that it comes out smooth to the other side or, you know, it doesn't get stuck. So now if you, you look at the texture maybe of someone else's hair, maybe a black African person, if you have to put the pencil, it literally would just get stuck, right? It wouldn't move any further. And that will be a way of saying, look, the texture is just coarse. You know, it's, it's you, you have to put your, you know, we have to put this person in that category. I think the difference is, to me is the fact that there was not the same opportunities. You know, as a coloured person in a small community, you had, you don't, you did not have certain privileges, right? So you could only go certain places and you could only do certain things. Um, so for instance, you couldn't go to a library, which would help you with your education. You had to find other ways of getting the information that you need. Whereas you know the library was accessible to you know your white peers, so that would be one particular example. Another one would be that you were constantly against this po poverty because the nature of you know your background and how you grew up, there wasn't money for anything extra. You know, so you would go to school bare feet and winter summer. You know, you have to share pencil between four other siblings, and similarly with books. You wouldn't have equipment in your classrooms that would be conducive for better learning. You could see that it was just basic um, facilities that will help you move forward from one point to the next, kept at a way where they would like, the system would want to keep you. So my understanding also is, you know, that the system was set up in such a way that it will keep people, you know, away from being educated in the, on the same level as your white peers at the time. And so the opportunities to really do well or get a job would be limited. You could do maybe some nursing or teaching. You know, there was very limited work that you could do because those categories was put aside for your sort of, you know, other people other than white. When there's a system like apartheid that's put in place, it will never last. And similarly, it will be any system in the future that is keeping people apart and away from each other or oppress. It will not last because it was not of God's doing. And that's really been the basis of my life.